Continuing with our work with brace expansions, I'm going to show you how you can use brace expansions to uh, cut back up a file. And really, um, this is uh, something simple, save you a little bit of time, possibly. But basically, let's see, we've got an empty folder here. I'm going to create a text file, I'll call it 1.txt, and we'll create a file called this is file 1. We will save that. List it, you can see it there. I can cat it out. It's the only file in this folder. What I can do now is, well, one way would be the obvious way of copy 1.txt to 1.old. And you can see we have two files now, and I can cat them both out. They both contain, contain the same content. And I can uh, remove 1.old, so we're back to our original file here. What I can do, instead of typing this out like so, copy one to one old, what I could do is I can say copy one dot and then inside braces go txt comma old. And when I hit enter, you can see it made a backup copy. I can cat out both files and they both contain the same content. Not necessarily a whole lot shorter, but if your file name was longer, it would be a little bit shorter. So if you were typing this into a script, you know, let's, uh, let's quickly remove the .old file again, and we're going to rename the 1.txt to my big file name.txt. So I'll list it out. You can see there's one file here still containing the same, oops, the same content. And if I do copy my big file name.txt, we can do braces and say old, just as we did before, and we got that. So really, when you type in the command line, it's not necessarily a whole lot faster because you have autocomplete. Um, but when you're writing your script, it can definitely make your script shorter if you're working with larger file names. And there's other stuff you can append to file names as I showed you in the previous tutorial. But I thought I'd share this with you. If you needed to back up some files, you can throw that in your script. And um, that's it. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.